I have now officially been vlogging for two weeks straight, every single day. That means I've made 14 videos in 14 days and I've very much enjoyed it. Probably about as much as I enjoy a cruffin in a club soda. If you don't know what a cruffin is, it's one of these. It's like a croissant, cinnamon roll, muffin, cruffin? I, I don't know where it comes from. All I know is that it's the best dessert ever. We're at this super cool carousel that our friends told us about. Uh, every single, I don't know what they're called, but the things that you sit on, everyone's different and uh, really interesting. This one's a dog riding a bathtub boat. Kai really likes dogs. Kai, are you excited? Are you excited, buddy? Are you excited? Bye, buddy. And this vlog is probably the most meta daily vlog there is because it's literally about what it's like to daily vlog. Is it sustainable? And is it even a good idea in 2019 to daily vlog? Those were my three goals or reasons for starting this daily vlog. And I've learned a ton so far about those three things just after doing this for two weeks. I think he might be cranky. <laughs> hey, Kai! First of all, it's a crazy amount of work. It's not necessarily a ton more work than I've been putting into YouTube before this. I've just kind of like put certain things aside and just focused on this daily vlog, but it is a lot of work. But in some ways, it's actually been easier to daily vlog than I thought. You kind of build this momentum and this this excitement that builds and you just wanna keep doing it and you're getting this instant gratification every single day. You're able to film something, edit it, and then put it out there. And it's just really, really satisfying creating something every single day. That kind of took me by surprise. And most importantly, it's actually been really fun to do this so far. And I think that's what's made it so easy in a way to daily vlog is because I'm just enjoying it so much. And I hope that's coming across to you guys because I really honestly have been enjoying this. So far, that's been my experience with daily vlogging. And then sustainability wise, I, I think it's been surprisingly sustainable actually. I haven't felt tired, haven't felt burnt out yet. I mean, it's been two weeks but I haven't felt like I've had to force myself to vlog. I haven't had to, I haven't woken up and been like, oh my gosh, I gotta make another vlog. I haven't had a single one of those days yet. Hey buddy. How was it? Did you have fun? Was it fun? Did you get scared? But at the same time, not having a single full day off where you just don't think about work or try not to think about work at all, I, I just can't see that being sustainable for a really long period of time. So that's the thing that, that still makes me a little bit skeptical uh, in terms of sustainability for a daily vlog. And then good idea for your channel or for you as a creator, uh, that one's kind of like a, a toss up. I think it really depends on the person. So far, I don't think my channel has started to grow a ton more. I don't think, yeah, you're getting more views because you're because you're putting out more videos out every single day, but each of those single videos hasn't gotten a ton of views or anything like that. So there hasn't been a, a significant increase in views, except obviously month to month. Uh, now that I am posting videos every single day, you're gonna get more views in total for a month. And income wise also, I, I haven't seen a significant jump or anything. Yeah, obviously you're gonna make a little bit more AdSense money because there are more views coming in, but but yeah, not, not a massive jump in, in income. So that's something interesting to keep in mind if you're planning on daily vlogging and also for me, just exploring this whole daily vlog thing. I think in some ways it's better to have a really specific demographic and then if you can, you can work with partners or work with companies or, or sell products that fit really well for that demographic instead of just having a crazy broad demographic. So, you know, like if I'm selling presets, for example, if I have a filmmaker audience, like most of you probably are, um, they're gonna sell better. Whereas if I have kids and all sorts of people watching my videos, they're probably not gonna be buying presets for videos. But the response from you guys has been incredible. You guys have been really, really psyched on the daily vlog and that's gotten me even more pumped and just 
gives me more motivation to do this because I've been really enjoying it. If you guys are enjoying it, then it's just like a win-win for everybody. And I think you guys are getting kind of a, a bigger glimpse into my life. So you guys are getting to know me better, but it also makes me feel closer to you guys. It feels more and more like you guys are a friend that I'm kind of just taking along with me wherever I go. There's a lot of people here right now. And creatively, technically, it's been really, really good. Uh, creatively, just making something every single day, trying to figure out some angle on each day. What's the little story that I can tell? And uh, technically, like I feel like I know this camera, the Canon EOS R, better than I ever have. I feel like I could probably close my eyes and just I would know where all the buttons are on this camera right now. Oh, wow. Popcorn! Cheers. Family cheers. First time having popcorn. He's loving it. All right, which one should we go on? This one? Are you excited? Excited? Of course, he sticks his hand and gets grease all over. A nice lady brought some uh, paper over. Everything's good. You having fun? Ride's done now. You gotta get off. Yo! He got grease all over his hand. <laughs> oh, that grease! Yeah, like actual grease. I thought it was pop. He's getting popcorn. <laughs> Hi. Hi. That's not. That's not good. That's not your popcorn, buddy. But overall, the main thing that I think I've learned so far through through these two weeks of daily vlogging is that the most important thing about a daily vlog is people it's human experience and that's what makes it really interesting to watch somebody else um, create a daily vlog every single day you don't need crazy big ideas and all this craziness and all this fake stuff you basically just need people and human experiences and I think in the end that is what makes uh, a vlog interesting the people speaking of people I gotta go find my wife and kid okay how come you're so grumpy right now you wanna go to a barbecue or you can get some ice cream? Ice cream? Sunday family time. It's the best time. Right, Kai? With this cutie patootie. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Leo! Yeah, we're gonna go see Leo. Let's go see cousin Leo. We've had uh, three birthday parties this weekend already and now we're gonna go to a surprise birth... No wait, not a birthday party. Surprise party. I have a feeling we're gonna miss the surprise though. I think we're late. See in Finland, if you say you're supposed to be somewhere at let's say three o'clock, like today, you're gonna be there for three o'clock. But in the Philippines, my wife is Filipino, they have a different way of doing time. Tell them about Filipino time. Filipino time. Uh, you just come anytime after that time. <laughs> Usually an hour or two later. Yeah, we missed him. You can eat this. But yeah? since it's a Filipino <laughs> party, there's some good food. <laughs> nothing more tiring for an introvert than four parties in one weekend. I'm exhausted. <sighs> but it's time to watch a movie. I've reached that dad status where I almost always fall asleep during a movie. Almost always. I'll let you know how it goes.